What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host, and today I'm back with another, uh, I guess, sit-down video. You know what I'm saying? Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying? And what the goddamn hell y'all leave? So, um, I wanted to... First of all, I've had this conversation with the camera twice, okay? Um, I'm sure y'all see from the title, it's about um, my surrogate. Now, I want, I want to put this out there, and it's not for anyone. But just to say, when I say surrogate, I'm not being funny. I'm not being funny at all. Uh, I've come into a reality of what this really is. I kind of want to get it off my chest um, and keep it moving. And like, you know, unfortunately, like being a YouTuber, um, you share things about your life that you don't necessarily, it, it, it don't seem like you have to, but sometimes you have to. And not even for the sake of y'all, just for the sake of, I just want to let it out. You know what I'm saying? I don't have nobody else to talk to about it. Uh, right now, everybody I know is in grind mode on a whole nother level. So it's not accessible right now. And hell, I'm not either. So I want to talk to y'all about it. Now, um, for those that don't know, I have a beautiful mother that raised me. Uh, my father's wife, she's amazing. She is my mother okay the best woman in the world that i've ever met best capricorn i know okay and um that's my mama right there you know i just want to say before i start this video i appreciate you so much anytime she see a mama title girl she pulls up i just want you to know i appreciate you so much you're amazing because you didn't have to do this and now for me um you know raising kids myself i see how um it can be a bit challenging coming into somebody else's family or migrating a family and raising uh, somebody else's child. All right, so I wanna say I appreciate that 100%. Love ya. And we are gonna be up there for Easter, all right? So, <laughs> love my mom. Now, I was, I'm trying to, <laughs> Because I'm going to tell you right now, after the conversation that I had with my surrogate, I cannot say mom or, or, or the woman that had me. Like, um, I don't want to use that terminology. And, you know, a lot of people are really not going to understand, but it's, it's for me to get out and really for y'all to understand. Uh, some of the people that get it, they'll get it. And the ones that don't, they just won't. So I didn't want to do this mukbang style because when I was talking and eating, it's just, I could not really, I feel like the point didn't get across of how I needed it to. So um, basically uh, several months back, maybe a month back, um, my sister, I believe, somebody's birthday came up, all right? I have two siblings on my surrogate side and for those that don't know, my uh, surrogate at one point was struggling uh, with drugs, okay? I don't know if she still is. Um, we'll probably never even have a realistic conversation ever. Uh, so I wouldn't even be able to tell you if she still is, but it seemed like it to me. Um, but maybe, maybe not. I don't know her. Just say I, I don't know her. So, you know, every year she sends me a picture <clears throat> of her with my brother and sister, right? I never not say they they aren't my brother and sister, but she can be a Sarah. Um, and I'm gonna tell you why. You'll you'll find out why I'm saying Sarah. So every year she takes a picture with my brother and sister and sends it to me, right? And she started with sending me pictures of my brother um, on his birthday, right? On his birthday. She is sliding my inbox or whatever at the time if she had my number and will send me like a, a praise for his birthday, right? And I didn't know whether it was the drugs or she's trying to create turmoil between me and my brother or she's trying to be funny, right? Like, bitch, you ain't here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, and I... 
I, for a long time, every year, one time a year, piss me off, right? So I have to call my mom and I have to call my dad and, you know, my sister just to vent to say, you know, because I can't, speaking to her, like, y'all say that I'm a narcissist, I'll take that because I was, I was born into a narcissist. She is probably past a narcissist. Um, and, you know, prior to this picture happening, we actually had a conversation about last year. Um, I called her, you know, and at, this was at the time I was emotional. You know, I'm trying to figure myself out because in my relationship, I'm trying to figure out, you know, is it me? Hell, like, am I loving wrong or, you know, whatever. And I called her and, you know, I texted her. I texted her. And I said, you know, you don't love me, do you? Or like, if I die, would you care? Or something like that. Something that was absolutely dramatic. But I went to dramatic levels to to get her attention because at the time, I'm just like, what is it? You know, I, I really wanted to know. And um, I would love to love better, right? So she hits me back like, um, of course I love you. You know what I'm saying? But goes on a whole tangent about my dad for an hour, right? Didn't go past, yeah, I love you. But your dad wanted to do it. Your dad wanted to do that. Your dad did this to me. Your dad did that to me, right? So I was born in 89. So whatever the hell she's talking about happened in 89. And quite frankly, whatever happened to you in 89, I can't say I don't care. But that's not why I called you. So we can have a conversation about 89 when that conversation presents itself. I'm asking you why today you don't f with me. What is it? What did I do? And that was the insecurity that I had, huge insecurity that I had. And after having that conversation, I called my dad, you know, <clears throat> my dad was like, what? <laughs> He said, call on three-way, right? I'm like, dad, hell no. This girl, uh, all right, I'm gonna call. So I call. He like, yo, like, what did, What you done told my daughter's a lie. Go ahead and tell her the truth. Tell her that you picked this over her and that you did this, you did that. Once again, she's still going on a tangent about him, right? Lying. No, I didn't say that. No, I would never. Oh, she feels that way. Oh, right when she got on the phone with him it was just absolute like it's taken me two years to make this video because i just couldn't but i couldn't but she behooved me in that moment because me i'm gonna tell you the absolute truth now some things yes we do take to the grave baby but in that case that wasn't a grave taking day like just say what you got to say girl i've waited 30 years 30 33 <laughs> Hurry up, you know what I'm saying? Um, not 33 and I'm 32. I played it 32 years, like, come on. What's up, you know? So, ah, I didn't know that I was doing that. He told her, don't be sending pictures on the birthday. Like, that ain't, it ain't even her birthday. Like, you trying to be funny? No, I ain't trying to be funny. I would never hurt her. My dad feeling bad. I don't, I don't, think, I don't think you would, you know what I'm saying? I just, you know, I don't like how you doing my daughter. You know what I'm saying? So. Get it together, you know? So I'm at, trying to ask her questions and she's arguing with me, but is like in child mode with my dad, right? I almost felt like he was talking to me. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like in a, in a way of, listen, I'm your dad. You got to listen to me, chill out and, and listen to me, right? It's how she sounds. No, no. Why would I do that? I'm saying what I'm saying. Well, you shouldn't feel like that. I mean, shit, you know. Uh, yeah. No, but I would never do that to her. She talking to him. He like talk to her. Like, what do you? Anyway, it was just a mess, right? I actually got it all recorded. I haven't listened to it, though. But I have it all recorded. I'm going to listen to it when I get home. So I'm like, okay, I'm, I am over it. Listen, you be blessed. I was trying my best to just, you know, not have to get a phone call that you ain't here no more. And then I'm regretting that I didn't get to speak to you, right? So listen, I get you now a little bit. 
you are stuck in 1989 for sure and you are stuck at that moment right before you had me right and maybe it's the drugs you know what i'm saying she don't admit she took drugs I ain't choose drugs. You know, one of those like drugs, ah, you know, <laughs> sounded like a cricket. You know what I'm saying? And that's disrespectfully. Like, that's what she sound like, a J, you know? And I, I don't care if, if if you, my mom, I thought, and you a J, it is what it is. I love my mom for being a J, you know what I'm saying? But that ain't what it was. So she stuck in 1989, stuck with whatever my dad did. But no, nah, I didn't tell her that. No, I didn't do that. But when she told, when she spoke to me, she could let it all out. She could spew out what happened in 89. But when he gets to talk to her, she don't know what I'm talking about, right? So absolutely, I know that you're a liar. Um, you, you The narcissism, girl done rubbed it off on me. You know, sorry y'all, I got it honest. It, it, you know, everybody think I'm a narcissist. When I believe everybody has narcissistic ways. A lot of people want to, they want things to go their way. People want life to go the way they want it to go. That is just facts. If you had it your way in an argument, you see it your way. And when you calm down, oh, well, I can see where you was coming from. You know what I'm saying? But most of us want to just get out what we want to say. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So... Everybody to me has narcissistic ways. But at one point when I was really at the top of narcissism, because I was, when I was going through my depression, I was. I can admit that. You know, I definitely know where I got it from. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to tell you why. <laughs> so this year, once again, she sends the picture of my brother and sister with her. They looking happy. You know what I'm saying? And I say, yo, I text my brother and my sister like, y'all, stop tell her to stop sending me this shit I, I don't know if she think like this make me happy or something or she trying to play with me but stop you know what i'm saying like this the last time you're gonna do that my dad already told you to stop doing it you sounded like a preschooler and he 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 about to whoop you with the belt like i know i know but i, I would never do that lets me know you got common sense right you got an, enough common sense to to speak to him in a way where you know that you wrong but for some reason don't have common sense when you're talking to me so this year i get the i get the picture and you know i text him that but then uh i had text her like yo i don't know if you think this makes me feel good but stop doing that right and she says i have to get the, i have to get this this the quote on the um on the text message damn what i got her saved as because i don't know so so i said okay this one she sent me the picture so i said this was actually november this was around her birthday my fault i had already told her happy birthday okay so she says no i said my bad damn I said, can you stop sending pictures of y'all? It's making me uncomfortable. Actually, it does every year. I've accepted our distant relationship, but I'm not there. And I don't know if you think it brings me happiness, but it doesn't. I'm glad y'all can enjoy each other's time. I'm okay with that, but I'll deal with our relationship better without this. So she says, God bless you. So I said, no, God bless you. And she said, thank you, sis. And I said, sis, she said, all that you are to me. And I said, oh, finally some truth. Tell me more. And then she goes into this narcissistic tangent of um, shit that never makes sense. Okay. But basically, um, you know, you all you ever be is a sister to me. So I'm going to show y'all that text message. She said, thank you, sis. I said, sis? All that you are to me. I said, damn. Now, 
Y'all can say, well, Nick, it's probably the drugs. The thing is, she could talk to my dad with some sense. She could talk to my dad with some sense. But when it comes to me, ain't no sense. No sense made at all. And, you know, it's argumentative, right? And I said, damn, okay. She sent me pictures to, I don't know. And she knows it pisses me off. So she continuously is doing this. Disrespectful. Um, she keeps talking about my dad. And everything with me is just anger, right? I'm like. All you is is a sister to me, but bitch, you had me, I think. Right, Dad? She did. Oh. <laughs> you don't like me, you see? Because you still want my dad. See, you still stuck in 89 when you had my dad. the child that he had to choose because see my dad told her choose the child or the drugs she chose the drugs me I'm an issue because my dad chose me my dad has taken care of me she ain't played no part in that but not only that she's angry with me right you trying to piss me off, you know, or make me jealous or whatever. You you can talk to my brother like you got sense. When she put a post up about my brother, like on his birthday, it's very descriptive. She ain't talking crazy. It's very descriptive. Oh my God, son, I love you so much. You're the best thing that ever happened to me. You are such a great guy. I love you, right? But when it comes to me, a, I don't, I don't get a post or nothing. But B, when she texted me, it's, it's crazy. It's like she can't spell shit all over the place, and then it's always aggressive. We always get aggressive. So, therefore, I have wiped my hands clean of this situation. Very clean of this situation see it was hurting me at one point it was hurting me because i'm like damn you know i just recently seen <clears throat> pretty boy fredo met his parents and dub just met his biological dad and i'm like damn you know um i was just thinking like you know i i too tried to open up uh the floor to you know forgive and and forgetting and, and move on you know, this man is just all in my video, bro. <laughs> and, and like, he's not going anywhere. You know what I'm saying? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn, cause I'm sick of you being in my video. We're gonna do that. Back up a little bit. And I'll keep going back. Um, you, you don't, want a relationship with me because you don't have a relationship with my father and I tried I swear I tried to open the door to um be the bigger person and and and, and you know not be a parent but shit, just try and make this thing a little better with the parent and girl it just didn't work so that is why I call her my surrogate. I'd rather call her a surrogate than a deadbeat that she is. Or maybe it's just not an understanding there. I mean, she didn't necessarily do the best with my brother and sister either. But it's definitely a a, a different vibe there, you know. Um, but yeah, I I cannot. I, first of all, I will not continue to let this run my life is what I won't do. Um, I have accepted this shit and now 
she can no longer contact me ever. I don't give a fuck what it is. And she'll probably contact me when she about to die. You know what I'm saying? Um, and that'll be one of those situations that, you know, uh, it's unfortunate. But uh, like Tupac said, you know, how can I go to a funeral of somebody I don't even know? I know the mama that raised me. You still trying to get my camera, my boy? I know the mama that raised me. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to have a child to be a mother. You don't have to have that child to be the mother to that child. You just have to actually love a person and genuinely just take care of them. So, um, I doubt y'all will be getting any more story times of this. Honestly. Um, that is an update, you know, from what, you know, I, I've had going on with her. I'm not angry today because I'm not angry anymore, you know? I'm not angry at all, y'all. I'm actually in a great, great, great headspace. I have a lot more control over my mind now. I have a lot more control over my life. And, hell, I'm happy, you know? But, yeah, she ain't for me, dog. You know what I'm saying? But I wish her the best, you know? God bless her for sure. She loved God so much. I know God said, honor thy mother and father, but I think it's something in there about taking care of your kids, you know? But, um, yeah. I'm good on all that, you know what I'm saying? So, I just wanted to update y'all. Come on, 111. I'm doing the right thing. I just wanted to update y'all. Let y'all know what's going on, man. And um, I just wanted to get off my chest. Wiping my hands clean with that dough. But if y'all have any questions, y'all going through the same thing, hell, I hope I help somebody. Because, baby, you know, a lot, of, a lot of people always talk about respect the parent and things like that. But I'm wrong, too. <laughs> I pay my own bill. I handle my own business. I do respect you. You ain't respecting me. So, at some point, we got to draw the line. You know what I'm saying? But, I'm going to, you know, bow out of this with good grace, you know, and continue to love on the mom that, that, uh, that raised me. You know what I'm saying? So, that's just it for me. But, like I said, if y'all needed this, I hope I helped y'all with something. You know what I'm saying? And, you know. Oh, let me know how you feel in the comments. That's all. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.